پلورل شوی کتابونو پا جمله که هم شامل دی دکتر سمیت و خیر اغلی و ستری مشی من نه تاسنم که تاسو پا پل که مکتوای است چه چنگه ده یوی دکتر پا صفت چه تاسو ده نورو مثلا غم خوالرو او هغوی مده ده رنز نشغورل پا دغا سی یو رنز مانده تاسو اختا شوی Well, addiction is an equal opportunity disease. It affects all kinds of people from all walks of life, all kinds of socioeconomic backgrounds, um, all different family backgrounds. And uh, in my case, uh, it started when I was a teenager, as it does for many people, um, starting out having fun, mm -hmm. uh, having a good time, and then it progressed over a period of time into more and more and different substances, and the addiction kind of snuck up on me. So often you start out having fun, but at a certain point it turns on you, and you don't even realize that it's gotten a hold of you. You start out being the master, but you end up being the slave. Mm -hmm. بله. لکس اینکه چطور سپا رپورت که ولی دل با افغانستان که در طول لویا سونزه چه دو چه دو امکان هم در کامل دل کیگی دتاریاکو مساله ده. آیا معمولی جوان تا دتاریاکو ند راستنی دو کار صح گرانده یا کتینگه؟ The opiates are particularly difficult to recover from. Um, getting into an opiate addiction. is something that people hear about, but they don't ever think it's going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. um, I myself went through it, and, mm -hmm. and I remember uh, when I was starting, somebody told me that it was very sneaky and very seductive, and I didn't believe them. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this with a lot of patients that I work with as well who start out recreationally or sometimes for medical reasons, mm -hmm. uh, because of pain issues. and. Slowly and gradually, the tolerance goes up, and um, your body's own natural uh, endorphin and pain-fighting symptoms um, decrease, mm -hmm. and you need more and more of it just to feel normal. But withdrawing from opiates is particularly hard in comparison with some of the other drugs. It has a very uncomfortable withdrawal, and the recidivism is very high. The relapse rate is particularly particularly high um, in opiate addiction. A big part of opiate addiction is the addiction to a state of being where there is no suffering. Mm -hmm. And once a person experiences that, it's very difficult uh, to go back to reality where there is suffering. Mm -hmm. we, we all have suffering as a part of life, but um, as an opiate addict, there's really this addiction to an altered state where, where there is no suffering. Mm -hmm. um, in, in my practice with patients, I generally, I see all kinds of people with all kinds of addictions, and the opiate addictions are some of the hardest to treat um, because the relapse rate is, mm -hmm. is very, very high. Drug addiction affects society in mm -hmm. so many ways. It, it affects the family, it affects the workforce, mm -hmm. it affects uh, the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. in, in the U.S., um, we have grown to use the jails as treatment centers mm -hmm. and an astonishingly high uh, proportion of people who are incarcerated mm -hmm. are there because of a crime that was connected with substance abuse in some way. Mm -hmm. And so at every level, society stands to benefit, particularly in, in the family and in our personal lives. But it, it affects every single aspect of a person's being. Mm -hmm. So treatment improves every single aspect of a person's being. Mm -hmm. And that spreads out into wider circles in the society. Detox is just the beginning. That's getting the substance out of the person's system. After that, it's a long road. And it's a very uh, lengthy process that really never ends because addiction affects a person at the physical, psychological, and spiritual levels. Mm -hmm. And the recovery happens on those three levels. The physical is first, the psychological is second, mm -hmm. and the spiritual is third. Mm -hmm. And 
after detox, uh, treatment center is uh, often required or some type of psychotherapy, uh, individual therapy, and perhaps 12-step uh, meetings as mm -hmm. well. Um, and these things can continue on for a long time. And m more and more people have access to more and more resources now. But the combination of all three is what's really most effective. Thank you.